Uh, hi everyone, in this tutorial we will talk uh, about the problem of annuities. So there are many times that what happen is that we are getting a constant cash flow uh, for every month or maybe every year and we want to see how much uh, does it um, cost now or what is the value of that annuities now. So for example, uh, suppose we have a cash flow of $100 every year. So this is uh, the end of one year, two year and we are getting a hundred dollars so so I'll say a hundred dollars and I keep dragging it and let's say it is for uh, 20 years so we are getting a hundred dollars uh, every uh, end of uh, every year for next 20 years and we want to calculate what is the value of this uh, uh, amount today so what will I do is uh, uh, I'll say let's suppose the rate of return or rate of interest is uh, 0.1 which is uh, 10 percent so so here so what I'll do is I'll calculate the present value of each dollar amount so this was the cash flow and then we have a present value so present value will be equal to 100 divided by 1 plus R so I'll put a dollar sign here so that if I drag the cell down then uh, it will not change the R and then I take uh, the power with the year of uh, the payment so because for the first year it will be 1 and then for the second year it will change according so as you can see that the values are changing so we can drag it down and see that uh, the, the hundred dollars will receive after 20 years will only be equivalent to 14 dollars we receive today right and uh, then we can calculate the total value so we can say net present value uh, is equal to uh, sum of all these values so this is our uh, again is equal to sum of all these values so as you can see so this is the net present value so when we change the interest rate like suppose from 0.1% to 0% then you can see that the net present value is equal to 2000 which is uh, that uh, uh, that's the value of $100 even after 20 years is equal to $100 so that's why the total sum is equal to uh, 20 hundreds so but when we have an interest rate then it goes down right so now uh, we can uh, further go about it and so make it something else so suppose now that uh, we want to give money to someone uh, and uh, he wants to pay you back in the installment so how much installment should you charge him so suppose uh, uh, you are giving someone uh, 0 0.1 uh, is the interest rate so which is 10% uh, interest rate and somebody borrows hundred dollars from you so let's say uh, money borrowed right so that is uh, equal to 1000 or let's say yeah let's say one thousand dollars somebody borrows one thousand from you so how much uh, payment he should make you every year for uh, next 20 years so how will we go about it so what I'll do in this case is that uh, I'll uh, take go to the data tab and click on the goal seek so I'll say data tab what if analysis and goal seek so it says set cell so I'll say set cell net present value and then to value because the money borrowed is uh, 1000 and then I'll say by changing cell so I'll say cash flow and say okay so you can see that uh, now the net present value is equal to the money which was borrowed and then the cash flow should be 117.46 so the person should pay you 117.46 and now uh, let's assume let me uh, bring this uh, let me bring insert here and now suppose the person uh, wants more detail on the payment he's making so he wants to know that whenever he make a payment how much he is paying for interest and how much he is paying 
uh, for the uh, principal so how can we calculate it so what we can do is that at the end of one year he will be paying the interest on one thousand dollars right and the interest rate is one percent or ten percent so we'll calculate the interest as is equal to principal into the interest rate so that is your uh, hundred dollars but he's making a payment of 117 so principal paid will be equal to uh, cash flow minus the interest payment so that is equal to 17.45 dollars so he only paid a uh, principal of 17.4596 dollars so what will happen next year so next year the principal left will be equal to money borrowed minus principal paid right and i'm putting a dollar sign on the uh, so let's do it this way so now this is the principal left so next year what will happen i'm again uh, paying the interest but this time the interest will be on the principal left right so i'll say principal left into the interest rate and the interest rate for interest rate, I'll put a dollar sign so that when I drag this cell down, then it does not change. And you can see now this time the interest will be lower because the principal is lower, and then the principal paid will be higher because the interest which is paying is lower. And now, so what will the principal left? Principal left will be equal to principal left last time minus the more principal which was paid, so that will be equal to. 963 now so now we can keep dragging this down and see how does it changes so you can see that we get uh, the money uh, flow so you can see that the interest payment interest which has been paid is going down the principal left is also going down and the principal paid every time is also going up so uh, we can um, see that the end of uh, uh, 20 years he will be paying ten dollars as interest and 106 as the principal so the interest amount is very low and it will leave him with a zero balance so here it is giving 1.7 to 10 for minus 13 which is zero but because it's excel so it calculates to the uh, way long decimal point so it should be uh, zero so this is how you calculate so you can do this calculation easily in the excel sheet and give it to the borrower uh, or even if you borrow money from someone you can do the calculation and see how does uh, the cash flow will look like or how does your payment uh, works when you make uh, a loan or, or you pay a loan so i hope this uh, tutorial will help i'll see you later thanks